constituents and there's ways to kind of check for that and there's a number of reasons that that can happen and we've kind of I highlighted some of them here if you can move the buffer plate which is what you can access by po poking a finger inside the lock ring and you can move it around you've lost the charge out of that because you shouldn't be able to budget now if you have low superheat high suction pressure what does that mean that means Chris, what does that mean? I put too much refrigerant in there, right? Maybe. Low superheat, that means I don't, I've got, yeah, high suction. I put high suction pressure out there in a suction line, that means I put a lot of stuff in it. Maybe more than I should. And how could that happen? I could have too much seat leakage in the valve. Now, we check every single one we make, but we can't prevent wear and tear over the over years. We might have the wrong superheat adjustment. Might have the bulb in the wrong place. Might have the wrong thermostatic charge. Oh, look at this. We might have crap in the system again. Might have the external equalizer in a bad location. Might have a valve that's too big, or we might have a compressor that's undersized or experiencing low capacity. Now, if the T